Hello, welcome to the Sophia Lyle Show. Today our topic will be self-esteem. You're probably wondering what self-esteem is. Well, let us explain. Self-esteem is a mental disorder where you think very lowly about yourself and your body. Once formed, it permits bad thoughts about you, making you think that you're inadequate or unlovable. Self-esteem can lead to negative activities such as depression, suicide, smoking, drinking, or pregnancy. It is an ongoing self-defeating behavior. If you or someone you know is suffering from low self-esteem, talk to them. Help them out. Did you know that over 75% of girls with low self-esteem engage in negative activities such as smoking, cutting, bullying, or disordered drinking, or disordered eating? Over 70% of girls with low self-esteem avoid doing daily activities. Low self-esteem can lead to mental illnesses such as depression or suicide. It can also cause eating disorders, lack of social interest, and, and or severe anxiety. 25% of girls have very high self-esteem issues. 25% of teens will reach depression before adulthood. Teens with low self-esteem are most likely to end up pregnant. Teens want their parents to communicate with them better. If you or someone you know is suffering from any of these effects, help them out. You can call the suicide hotline at 1-800-273-8255 or join the online chat. Thank you for watching this week's episode on the Sophia and Lila show. See you next week. Bye. My parents are forcing me to take gym semester. I took gym last semester. It was so much fun. Yeah, I know, but like I'm just so nervous because I have to wear shorts and everyone wants to see my legs and I really don't have a lot of friends. Sophia, no one's going to judge you. You're so good at soccer, everyone will be impressed. And plus, you get to make more friends. Thanks, but I just what if I trip and fall and mess up? Everyone's going to laugh at me. It'll be the joke of the school. You'll be fine. Now, let's go. Because my shorts were way too short, you could see all of my legs, and my shirt, it was just, it felt like I was wearing nothing. I'm wearing that. You should have just worn it. It's not bad. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this just in case, though. Okay, well, when you get hot, it's not my fault. I think you should wear your shorts. Come on, come on, we're going to do this. It's so hot. Come on, let's go. Don't want to be late. Yeah, just give me a minute. It's so hot. The sweatshirt and stuff, it's making me so hot. You shouldn't have worn it. Yeah, well, you want anyone to see my legs. No one's going to see your legs. Oh, whatever. Let's go. We're almost there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little, just a little kind of. <sighs> Sophia, Sophia, wake up, wake up. Are you okay? Come on. What happened? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I think we should go back to the locker room now. Yeah, we probably should. Come on. Sit, sit down. What just happened? I don't know. I think you were wearing too much clothes that you fainted. Uh, let's go get some water. All right, come on. Are you ready for gym? We have soccer today. Yeah, I guess. I'm just really embarrassed about what happened last time. No one saw, I promise. And you're so good at soccer. Yeah, I hope so. Well, I promise. Come on. You'll love gym. It doesn't matter what you look like or what you think you look like because everyone's valued the same, no matter what size or shape. And nobody cares what you look like as long as you're happy with yourself. It will make you have a better and more confident life as long as you stay happy and have a clear body image on yourself. The only thing that's stopping you from being happy is you.